With warmer weather finally here, many Minnesotans will spend much of the next few months outdoors. That's especially true over the Memorial Day weekend, but state health officials warn that this is the peak season for ticks. And in today's Health Check Report, Delane Cleveland examines how to protect yourself from tick-borne illnesses. In the not-too-distant past, Minnesotans were forced to deal with one of the worst winters on record. Yet while winter may be gone, it's not forgotten. Turns out the deep snow created the perfect environment for ticks. Ticks live on the forest floor, so all that snow came in on top of them, kept them nice and insulated, and uh, they're all out right now uh, looking for something to feed on. That includes humans. We have the big holiday weekend coming up, and if we have nice weather, it brings the ticks out and it also brings the people out. Department of Health officials say the highest risk for tick exposure is from mid-May to mid-July which is why they're urging people to be cautious. Ticks are important to worry about because unfortunately they're very abundant in Minnesota and uh, one of the species in particular, the black-legged tick, what used to be called the deer tick, can transmit several different diseases to people. Last year, Minnesota saw a record number of more than 1,400 Lyme disease cases. That's up from 912 in 2012. Well, you can't avoid them if you're going to be outside. Dr. Jim Welters of Northwest Family Physicians in Crystal says avoiding ticks is especially difficult if you plan to travel to northern Minnesota. It generally misses the Twin Cities area, except for the northern, way northern suburbs. Uh, and St. Cloud, but you know, there's actually a sort of a band you can draw that just goes across the middle of the state. Experts from the health department say people need to be careful in wooded and brushy areas, which is where ticks live. One key way to reduce the risk of tick-borne disease is by applying DEET-based insect repellents to clothing or skin. These are diseases that are, are out there, and for people that spend time in woods and brush where the ticks live, it's good to be aware of them. For a health check, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. Experts say this is also the time of year when you should perform daily tick checks, and they recommend people search their entire body for ticks. If you find one, remove it immediately.